All right, hello, hello, hello. Cheers, Kevin here, and welcome back to Minecraft Sev Tech. I, uh, oh yeah, I'm, I'm not even, I'm not even being secretive about stuff. Uh, I have been uh, a little busy, and to be honest, I'm not entirely even ready to record. I told you at the end of the last video that we were going to set up a storagey area. Uh, and I don't have that set up yet, uh, but there's a reason. There's a reason for that. So I was looking at these and trying to figure out, okay, what kind of structure do we want? I like the fact that for the most part, we've been able to keep these things as sort of open air structures um, because, well, I mean, it, it just makes it easier to, to run back and forth between things. Um, obviously we still have to, I mean, I've been hiding spider totems and stuff to make it easier to get in and out because otherwise it becomes a little bit of a pain in the butt. But I like the sort of open air uh, feel of the things that we've been creating here. Um, and now that we want to, we really need to create a, a storage area, um, I said in the last video that we wanted to create something heading towards this direction uh, because over off in the distance, if I turn our render distance up, which I probably shouldn't do, this is dangerous, ah, glance away. Let's see, 16. That should help a little. There we go. Um, yeah, there's that uh, There's that mountain sort of, over, not mountain, I mean, but, you know, raised area over there. Um, and I said that I wanted to create some sort of observatory or something like that because um, the astral sorcery stuff um, performs better the higher in altitude that you are because I guess you're closer to the stars. Oh, good. It's just about nighttime. I didn't, I didn't plan ahead. And um, so I decided, okay, we're going to go ahead and build stuff over here. Uh, but I was trying to think, okay, what exactly do we want this structure to look like? And want an open air thing. And I mentioned also that these, these drawers kind of reminded me of PO boxes. And so I thought, what better a thing? All right, I've got to wait for that sun to get below the horizon. Uh, what better thing to do than to have sort of a, uh, an open air post office? And so I went to uh, Googling, uh, looking for open air post offices, uh, just to kind of get some some inspiration. And I found one uh, in St. Petersburg, Florida. I'll probably throw up the image if I remember. If not, you can shame me down in the comments. Uh, there is an open air post office. Now it looks like it's not completely open air. It looks like there's there's more of this sort of uh, alcove that's open and you, I mean, so the, the customers don't ever have to go in, but there is an actual interior, which makes sense because I don't know, in hurricanes and stuff, you presumably don't want the mail to get soggy. Um, and so I was thinking, okay, well, how do I want to design this? And I wanted to start off looking at, um, at as I was basically, I was looking at, well, okay, what things do we have stair blocks for? Because if we want those arches, we we're going to need stair blocks. And I was looking through here, I was like, okay, you know what? Actually, this marine brick is pretty cool. <clears throat> so the marine brick is porcelain brick surrounded uh, surrounding one blue dye powder. Now, porcelain brick is a pain in the butt to craft because uh, we have to uh, make it into, let's see, it's unfired porcelain. So we have to throw a whole bunch of stuff in the millstone, then go ahead and fire it up, and then go ahead and surround it like this to get two marine bricks. And I was like, well, we can't, we obviously can't do that. So rather than use that, I said, okay, what are the other... Uh, bricks that we have available and golden brick stairs is another one you need golden bricks which is porcelain bricks surrounding a gold nugget <laughs> okay no that's it's not that it's too expensive it's just that it's too darn time consuming um, and then there was let's see let's see uh, brick stairs uh, let's see da, 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 da. where is it where is it where is it where is it Okay, yeah, dried brick stairs. I came across this, and I was like, you know what? That actually looks really nice. I don't like the kind of the fire engine brick here, although this this dark brick stairs actually looks kind of cool as well. Those, but these get expensive. Dried brick stairs um, are for dried bricks, which is just drying clay. And I was like, okay, well, that's not that's not going to be fast, but it's also not going to be too expensive because we can use these uh, survival strainers to actually get ourselves some free clay. So I don't have to go out and. Uh, shovel up all the clay. Ooh, good thing we're going here. We're going to need to fill that out. Let me uh, throw that there. Um, I also discovered, yeah, so you can use hoppers with these drying racks. So we have been sitting here smelting up these bricks, but the drying rack takes two minutes. So we've got four of these going at a time, which means basically we're getting one block every two minutes. So this is becoming... <laughs> Very time consuming very quickly. I also decided I really like ironwood. <laughs> I was trying to figure out a block pallet that would go well with this. I like ironwood planks uh, with this brick. I think it looks nice. Um, also, possibly Sakura planks. We might just use that as detailing. I started off with Sakura planks and then uh, kind of spread it out. Um, and then I figured, okay, so we'll have this and then we'll just sort of uh, keep this thing around. I've sort of set this up and defined kind of where these pillars are going to be. Now, I don't know. We may eventually set this up so that we can expand it, but I'd like to eventually place these down to give us this uh, this sort of walkway, and then, yeah, just kind of have this little open air area, and obviously we put some some totems around to creeper-proof it and, and all of that, but I like the look of these arches, 
and I'm not entirely sure what we want to do with the ceiling. I was thinking maybe uh, there's there's a marble staircase block, so maybe we'll go with something like that. So yeah, we would actually have to use the luminous crafting table from Astral Sorcery to do that, but eh, we can give that a try. There's also a chis this is uh, the chisel mod, which lets you kind of create these fancy designs on things, which. I don't know, maybe we want to do. Um, although I don't think there are actually designs for the staircase block, so I don't know. Um, but the, ch the chisel is an iron chisel, and uh, apparently iron is relatively scarce, so we may not want to spend the time doing that. There's also a, a stone chisel, which I made, and you can cut little little pieces out of blocks, but uh, it seemed like it was going to be very time-consuming to do things that way. Okay, and bringing you back in because I think... I think I have things pretty much ready. Now, I, I want to remind you, I've switched my microphone, by the way, between the last clip and, and the new one, so if things sound a little bit different, that's why. But hopefully things should sound a little bit better going forward. Uh, now, just to remind you, even with this long drying rack setup, this is uh, four clay uh, pieces processed over the course of two minutes. So every two minutes, I get one block. Um, which, <laughs> yeah, so it has been a lot of kind of sitting around and, and shepherding this. But take a look at what we've got. At least, at least for now, I'm <laughs> excited to introduce you to it. Um, so we've got kind of this this open air uh, area. We have no ceiling right now, and to be honest, I don't think this looks terrible. At some point, we may want to go ahead and just. I guess we could put some pillars in here, and then just have kind of this area covered, and the middle stay open. I don't even know. Um, but here we go. Here is our open air post office. We've got all of these items in all of these places. We're gonna have to <laughs> squint to see kind of where everything is at, but. Um, I'm excited about this. I did go out and farm a, a little bit more monolith stone. Um, just sort of right at the uh, Shoggoth lair. Where is that spider coming from? Um, just so that we get these pillars. I think it gives it kind of a nicer look. The other reason is that if we have these, uh, you know, if we have stuff on the on the first level, then it makes it hard to see where everything is. So I'm hoping that uh, this uh, gives us something that's a little more sustainable. So uh, as far as stuff we're actually going to do in this episode, well, <laughs> I mean, I've, I've put a lot of work in already. So I think I think that's going to... No, I'm kidding. Um, let's look at the uh, the achievements. There's an easy one right here, and this is the Tinkerer uh, achievement. And I think because if we look at these, so the Between Lands requires us to locate a druid circle and kill some druids, which I'm guessing they're not going to be complete pushovers. I mean, I guess crafting woolly blankets is easy enough. Um... Sea Lantern, I have never raided an ocean monument, so I don't know if that's going to be easy or, or difficult, but, I mean, we'll find out. Um, but, and then and then filling in the gaps, acquire constellation paper. Well, we don't have constellation paper, and the recipes for constellation paper uh, are not... Uh, well, there's... I guess, oh, you know what? I guess maybe we can... Well, we need Stardust, um, and that's something we have to go out hunting for. Um, attune Celestial Crystals... Yeah, so we could get things that way. Uh, I guess this is probably the way they want us to do it. We need more aquamarine, and then we need to find... Oh, rock crystals. Yeah, that's the that's the other achievement is uh, down here, finding uh, stardust and, and uh, rock crystal samples. So that's going to require kind of going on into the overworld as well. Um, wondering if maybe we'll be able to get our armor up a little bit uh, first, because if we look at, I don't know, like chest plates, um, what we're currently in is black quartz, um, although we don't have an infinite amount of black quartz, so maybe it would be, ooh, you can make casts to just pour stuff out into that shape. That's, that's awesome. Um, anyway, uh, so it's six and then one defense or whatever the heck that is. Yeah, one armor toughness, six armor. Um, there are definitely a lot of other things here in these, so Tinker's Construct seems to give us a lot of more customization options. There's also stuff that we haven't found yet, so we're not in the worst of armor, but perhaps we could improve, and uh, yeah, that leaves this... Uh, this path, I guess, to hopefully get us there. Part maker. So going into these into these tools. So Tinkerer, time to ditch your old crafting table and upgrade to a crafting station. It will let you keep items in the grid and attach to nearby inventory. So uh, let's go ahead and take our crafting table and look at a crafting station. Uh, where is that? Where is a crafting station? There we go. Crafting station. Um, oh, I can just craft. <laughs> that's that's that, that's a nice and easy recipe. There we go. Crafting station, and we have that achievement. Underway. Awesome. Uh, start working on replacing your tools, crafting a stencil table and part builder. So, stencil table is going to require uh, a blank pattern and planks. Okay, so blank pattern is siding and bark. All right, fair enough. Uh, oh, and it can be that form of bark as well. Cool. Um, so I know that we have uh, two bark here. Perfect. And I don't think that we have 
siding right now, but that's easy enough. We can just go ahead and make some. So let me grab myself uh, some of these. Also, by the way, well, because I had to sit here and do nothing, um, I've planted a whole bunch of totems around with uh, the horse totem, which gives us speed. So we should be able to run back and forth here an awful lot quicker than we otherwise would. Um, and that's, <laughs> that's hopefully going to save us uh, some misery. So if we run over here, should be able to get some... Oh, you know what? I forget. Is it... This gives us... This doesn't give us the side. This gives us... Um, I think we need to plop down the planks. Plop down the planks to get side. There we go. And, I'm, yeah, I'm hearing, hearing some audio issues. I'm not entirely sure. I'm hoping that's not going to come through on this video. It could just be on my, on my end. We'll find out. Um, okay. So, we need a blank pattern, and that put that on top of a plank. Um, come on, horse totems. Kick in. And maybe you're just running past past the range. I've also managed to smelt up just about all of the tin in the time that I've spent doing all of this. Um, let me go ahead and upgrade this one too. Why not? I mean, since since we can, go ahead and just plop it right back where it was. Uh, boop. And, okay, so we needed um, da, da, da. it was like this and then like this as well. And, okay, so that's four blank patterns and we just need a blank pattern on top of that. Okay, that gives us a stencil table. Uh, before we Go back, um, part builder. Let's see, part builder. And that looks like this. Uh, so that's blank pattern just on top of wood. Okay, fair enough. Um, and do we, oh, of course I chopped them all up. Okay, so let's head back and we can make those tools. And now I think the idea now is that instead of, like, for example, crafting a pickaxe, you craft, like, the head of the pickaxe and the shaft of the pickaxe and, and stuff like that, just to, and you can mix and match different parts, and they, in theory, give you better results. Um, let's go ahead and uh, throw this away. Now, I do still have manually have to go around and go, like, hey, where did I happen to put the, these planks? Um, nope, those are iron planks. Ah, eh, whatever. We'll just throw them here. Nope. <laughs> Not that one. That. Um, although, thankfully, you don't at least have to, you don't have to select the item in your inventory. So, for example, well, uh, uh, so sawdust, for example. We've got sawdust, and I know that the sawdust is uh, right there. So, I can go ahead and just double right click, and it throws all of that in there, which is nice. Okay. Um, let's grab, sure, a mulberry. Why not? I didn't mean to click it twice, but that's, that's what happens. A mulberry. And uh, it was another blank pattern on top of that. And there we go. Okay. Now we have part maker. And then uh, we need a tool station. So I think there's some... We could plop these down, but I, I, I'm holding off for a second because I think there's some sort of order that you ought to... There's some sort of arrangement that they ought to be in, and I'm not entirely positive what that is. Eh, it's probably fine. Let's let's try... I think the tool station may be the thing. Or maybe not. Craft part. Hmm. Well, we'll figure that out. Uh, so the... Um, yeah, tool station. Okay. Tool... Station uh, is right here. and Okay, so that's just a crafting table and a pattern. Nice and easy. I like it. I uh, didn't need to put that uh, those planks away. Give me some of those. And let's make ourselves another crafting table. Make that a crafting station. And then put a pattern on top of it. And there we go. Tool station. And if we toss this down, now what do we have? Okay, so this tool station... Um, Jay, I can... Okay, that, that's unhelpful. Um... So this shows us cutting matic for versatile, 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 <laughs> versatile tools. Um, yeah, okay, so for example, we can put in a particular shaft, a particular pickaxe head, and then I, I think this is called the binding, the thing that actually keeps the, the head of it attached to the, the, the base. Um, uh, and then I guess there's some, this must be some sort of upgrade -y system. Um, oh, and then you can also chisel things as well. Um, so, okay, here is a stencil table. Uh, oh, okay, so I can make stencils... Oh, presumably, this would let me, um, so I could use the, oh, you need to, you need stage three before you can do that. Uh, okay. Why? Why? I would like, okay, so it shows you how much material it's going to cost. Oh, that's a sharpening kit. This, it, why can't I create a pickaxe? Oh, no, I can't create a pickaxe head. Okay. Uh, so this seems, I'm going to take a guess that we could throw this into our melter, um, to create a pickaxe head, and it'll probably, let's, hmm, so yeah, I mean, let's, let's do that, because why not, it's not a particularly expensive resource, we can go ahead and try that, and see how useful this happens to be, um, this, of course, is the problem of just me not having experience with modded, um, but, uh, let's take this, can we take this out and put this in, yes, cool, um, uh, but I can't pour tin in there, 
Okay, fair enough. Um, well, I mean, we were using gold gold to create the the cast, so who knows? Because um, presumably, I, yeah, that makes some sense. I mean, I guess you can't because there's not there is no tin pickaxe. So yeah, presumably you can't create a pickaxe head. Um, uh, axe. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, uh, pickaxe head. Okay, so these are all the materials we could create stuff out of. So stone would be an example. Um, so then what happens if I were to take the, the tin out and try putting in something that we can actually use? I'll try and clear this out as well. Okay, so let me, like, can I throw in cobblestone? Was this cobblestone going to smelt up? It can't be molten. Okay, never mind. Oh, thanks. Um, cobblestone's not going to work, but smooth stone maybe? Um... Uh, that can't be molten either. Okay, so, <laughs> so that's a bad, uh, bad test. Um, actually, though, let's go ahead and just smelt up uh, one of these blocks of gold that we've poured out. Um, and we'll try crafting something out of that, because that we know can certainly be molten. Oh, not enough heat to melt, the <laughs> to melt this item. Okay. Uh, let's see, this is how many ingots worth? I don't know if this is... Well, maybe it'll be enough. We'll, we'll have to see. Um, that's interesting. So th there is a there is another task that uh, does require us to upgrade. Yeah, here it is. Solid fuels only get you so far. Craft and place a porcelain or steer tank beneath your melter to melt iron and other materials, um, and let the current fuel source run out or break and replace the melter. Um, and that I think we need to melt iron. So actually, we may want to do that sooner than later as well. Um, I do want to get out and do some adventuring and stuff too. I just don't want to go out there completely unprepared. So let's look at what the seared. Uh, well. Uh, what is it? So it's the liquid. Uh, that's the porcelain heater. We need the porcelain tank. Um, okay, so that's just porcelain bricks surrounding a clay barrel, and the clay barrel is, uh, yeah, the unfired clay barrel in a kiln. Fair enough. Um, all right, so let's get this barrel. We'll get that firing up. Um, and then I suppose I can put the... Shouldn't need the rest of the clay, actually, so we can go ahead and just throw that away. Um, oh, I haven't, uh, haven't upgraded that one to show the numbers. We'll go ahead and hit that. I'm really hoping when these melt up, we end up with, with enough, but, I mean, we'll find out. Um, okay, so let's throw uh, the, what do we need to throw in there? We need to throw this unfired thing into there. Yep, okay. All right, and take that clay barrel, and then we just need to surround it uh, with porcelain, uh, like so. And there we go, porcelain tank. Uh, so we have a smelt tank. That's another achievement. Um, if you're tired of waiting for crap to go craft a watering can, that's helpful. Um... Heart of the melter retains liquid when broken. Okay, so, but the thing, yeah, so I think we need to find lava and get it into there. But the challenge here is that um, our clay bucket, for example, will melt away after uh, transporting hot liquid. So we could, I guess, get one bucket in there. Uh, but, uh, yeah, porcelain window, porcelain gauge. Hmm, interesting. Um, do we have the ability to create other buckets? Uh, we do. Uh, and we have to craft it via molten iron. Okay. So we need to, oh, stone bucket. Okay, we can create a stone, bu oh, we can create a stone bucket and create the mold that way. That's awesome, okay. And give me a stone bucket, which will not work as a bucket, but hopefully we can use it to create a bucket cast, and then from there, create proper buckets. And then <laughs> once that's all done, hopefully we can get back to actually using this, uh, this cast. Let me plop down, I've plopped that down, and then, Okay, there's enough that it poured out. That's good. And, oh gosh, it looks <laughs> there was exactly enough that it poured out. Whew. All right. And if we, let's, so looking at the buckets. Yeah, okay, so you all, there is only the iron bucket. So we do actually need to be able to heat it then. Ugh. That's tricky. Um, can we, will it tell us how much, we need three ingots worth. Okay, that's good to know. Um, is this going to cool it? Oh, it's not enough. Oh, no. Oh, that's disappointing. I wonder, can I, can I sacrifice the nugget cast? Actually, you know what? Hang on a second. No, there are still a couple of surface samples that we didn't grab from before, right? We, <laughs> we should be able to make this work. Um, somewhere around here. I swore I saw one. Yeah, there's one. We're just shy of enough liquid to make it happen. Oh, you know what? We still have, aha, uh -huh, we still have some ingots and some nuggets. That's perfect. Okay. We have some in our storage system. 
All right, we're not in we're not in as dire straits as I thought. Well, here do we have? Um, I should put some of this stuff away. Ba bum, ba bum. Um, do we have and charcoal as well? Um, I think. Oh yeah. Okay. So we do have more. Oh, we've got plenty of iron cluster. Yeah. Okay. So I must have mined some. Did I mine some of this on camera? I feel I feel dumb. Um, but yeah, we can't we can't of course melt it until until it's it's until we have the resources. But that's okay. Uh, yes, yes, that's enough. Okay, cool. Now we have a mold, and that's great news. Um, that means I don't need this melted up. Thank you very much. Ugh, and I don't need this in there either. Um, and I can't pour it out because, oh, gotta sleep. Ah, so many things. We've got to ditch the the last little bit of, oh, you know what? Actually, hang on. We've got the ingot mold. We can use that to get rid of stuff. Okay, grab that, put that down, and then just, yeah, pour out the rest as ingots, please. Um, that'll at least let us empty this, uh, this liquid, because we are going to start melting up some uh, iron very darn soon here. Um, we just need, yeah, the annoying thing is you need you need the lava uh, to create, to, to be able to melt iron, but the only bucket that you can create that won't be burned away uh, is, uh, da, 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 da. I don't know, what am I talking about? Okay, uh, there we go. So, uh, let's, yeah, I guess we'll just toss this in here. And then I'm hoping that uh, we can at least get this. So melt away after transporting hot liquid. So if we can get some lava in here and then get rid of it, maybe we'll be okay. All right, so I'm running down underground. And I think, yeah, because I think there was lava under here. Um, then hopefully, yep. And, oh, geez. Uh, yeah, that's not a good, oh, that's not, <laughs> that's not going to hold, is it? Well, uh, it's fine. Everything is fine. We'll just ignore that. I, well, I can... It's like, I don't have any filler blocks. That's fine. Cobble, here you go. And perfect. All right. And then we'll run uh, back up there and hope that this this lava clay bucket doesn't destroy and, I don't know, light us on fire <laughs> while we're heading back. Um, or actually, the melter, or the the tank, it did say it pre it preserves fluids. So maybe we should have just put the stuff in there and then... Uh, and then carry that around, but that's okay. Uh, retains fluids when broken or whatever. The only question, I, I mean, I guess I just get rid of the uh, the heater because I, I don't I don't know that I can use both. Um, so that's that's fine. Um, we'll toss down the tank and then throw this in there, and then there we go. We've now lost. So okay, so we will use up, I guess, millibuckets of lava in here, but. Oh, look at that. Lava and the temperature is blah, blah, blah. So now the iron is actually melting. Awesome. We're going to end up with iron in this episode. Fantastic. All right. Now we have three ingots worth in there. So let's go ahead and pour this out. And once that cools, we should have a lovely iron bucket, which I guess we can then use to fill more uh, so that this thing can continue to burn down. So this is has... That's okay. It just says 50 millibuckets. I don't know how long it's going to take for that to wait. Where? Where? Oh, right, because we have the hopper underneath. Yes, we have a bucket. That's fantastic news. Okay, cool. And oh, we can create a create a watering can if we particularly care to. Okay. Um, I think that's that. That's that's plenty of smeltering for us right now. Also, uh, at some point we'll need to create a proper smeltery because this is a apparently a smaller version of the thing. Um. That's simpler, uh, but we can create a, a larger, big, multi-block tank thing. And I'm wondering if maybe we don't reuse this area for that. Maybe we build something that is uh, closer to our crafting station just because uh, it feels like we're going to need it a lot. Um, yeah, so that's that's something that's on my mind. I think now, if we look at uh, kind of what's next on our list, it would be a good idea for us to keep an eye out for rock crystals. Um, lapis, I guess, is just, hey, you can find some lapis if you if you want to. Um but I think we probably do want to keep an eye out for... I want to go hunting for a druid circle and see about killing the druids. Can I put this down? Will you pour out into there? You will not. Okay. So I don't know how we go from... Uh, let's see. Pattern. What do we use these patterns for? I, so I can't right-click on these patterns. I don't know what we are going to do. Oh, there's a pattern chest. Oh, that's nice. So it will hold both casts and patterns. Let me look up exactly how we go from these patterns to creating proper casts. Aha, okay, so I, <laughs> I figured this out. It actually, yeah, it was, I was going about this the wrong way. The challenge for us is, yeah, okay, so we just put in stone, or I guess maybe even cobblestone. Let's, can we, I think it was a stone pickaxe head. Can we use, can we use regular stone? 
or a regular cobblestone. Uh, my inventory is getting kind of full. Let me just get rid of some of these items that I know I'm not stacking in particular areas. Um, yeah, if I go ahead and just take a couple of these, um, this being the part builder, I should be able to, yeah, okay, cool. So I don't even need regular stone. I can create a stone pickaxe head, um, which presumably I don't wanna, don't wanna use on anything, but uh, no, let's, so this is the tool station. This would let me, okay. So then I could craft a tool with um, something. Uh, pickaxe head, a binding, and a tool rod. Okay, so we would then need a tool rod. And those you can do in all sorts of different ways. Um, so I guess the 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 thing here is we need to, what can I, will it show me what this is? Uh, no, okay, so I need to make a bunch more blank stencils. But then once I've done that, <laughs> I like that that's one. Uh, once I've done that, I can create these stencils. From there, make some wooden tools. And then go over there and create a bunch of golden uh, casts for all of that. Of course, I've got iron that's smelting up in there right now. So <clears throat> shame on me for, for doing that. Um, cool. So, and then, and then once we've done that, we can use the tool station to construct these things in some sort of combination. And I guess this is a way to upgrade your tools. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's the, that's the upgrade your tools. This is pickaxe is blah. So we need the pickaxe head and the binding. How, how, how does the binding work? Let's look. Binding. Uh, okay. So that's like this. Oh, and it can be made of uh, any material as well. Um, and yeah, there's a, there's a binding cast also. So, um, that's okay. So that's cool. So we could use stone, stone, stone for all of these, or you can mix and match and they have different, uh, abilities and stuff. Fractured, holy, spiky, corallium plagued. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, so, <laughs> um, so, so I guess that's the process just go through a whole bunch of these patterns, craft a bunch of stone ones, and then go ahead and craft a bunch of, uh, of gold, uh, casts. Cool. So the, what was the, the cast, um, the pattern chest, uh, I guess, yeah, okay, so we'll need some more blank patterns, and I'm gonna have to chop up some stuff to do that. Actually, no, I shouldn't, uh, I've got some plank siding in the backpack, so we'll do that, and then like that, and there we go, four more blank patterns, so if I go here then, I should be able to do this, and say, hey, I am going to want, uh, yeah, a binding pattern, and then I also want to have a tool rod pattern, yep, and, Cool, those are the two that I very much want right now. Um, just so that we, we'll have those. Uh, let me throw some stuff away real quick. Um, I said, I mean, in theory, I should things should be better now, but they're not, uh, whatever. Um, <laughs> uh, put this away, put that there, and uh, then stone. And yep, give me that. And then uh, tool rod, and give me that. So now, I guess in theory, we could also use these to craft a pretty terrible pickaxe, right? Yeah, this would give us a clumsy, a, a stone pickaxe, which has a durability of 16. That is garbage. And a mining level of iron, which means I don't think you can use it to, to uh, mine much. Um, but that's not what we want to use these for. We want to use these in conjunction with the gold to create a bunch of casts. And actually, before I do that really, really fast, because it's getting to be dark, uh, I want to create a chest. Uh, and then, well, okay, well, we've got the materials. Let's go sleep, and then we'll, we'll, we'll wrap this up. Before we do anything, I need to uh, chop this into planks real quick. Um, and if you use the powered saw, you do get more planks per log. Um, but I'm being lazy here. Uh, well, I'm, yeah. Uh, okay, and so then it was a chest uh, like a so. And that, and then a pattern on top. And there we go, now we have a pattern chest. And I guess in theory, this should now hold everything, right? Uh, perfect, oh, cool. What is this? So I can put these, oh, nice. So it basically just expands to hold anything. Wait, what? But it said it was gonna care, it said it was supposed, what? It said patterns or, oh, either or. Okay, fair enough. Um, cool, so it's a cast chest. So then we can keep the cast over here and just kind of continue to work on them. Is there something we ought to do with the iron real quick? No, I mean, not really. We can cast, I mean, the only cast that we have are the nuggets and the and the bucket cast, and we already have a bucket. Uh, so I'll go ahead and just pour these out into two blocks, and then we'll get some more, some more gold up here. And hopefully the gold block, yes, the block of gold can be melted down now because we're dealing with the higher temperature uh, tank. And it does have, we can see here, 
Uh, okay, 50 millibuckets. So I guess it hasn't used, maybe it doesn't use it entirely up, or it just uses stuff up very slowly. Well, I don't know. And there we go. We have some gold in there. That's great news. Um, I don't know how much we're going to end up needing, but we've got, we want to create casts of at least these things. And I also want to see, I think I may be able to create a cast off of the dried brick. Uh, no. Well, that's annoying. Why not? So that's weird. You can actually, you can use a, you can pour things onto a regular brick to get an ingot cast. Uh, just not a dry, not a dried brick apparently. Well, okay, fair enough. Um, let's at least get these casts made, and then we can we so in theory then we could use whatever thing and just pour it into this cast, and get some amazing stuff that way. Um, cool. So we could create, for example, an iron pickaxe now with an iron rod and a, so, I, you know, I don't know. We'll have to mix and ma play, you know play around and see what uh, what goes best with what. Oh yeah, okay. So I can just fire up one clay. And in the in the kiln and get a get just a regular brick and there we go a regular brick so hopefully we should be able to now pour out yes we have an ingot cast so we should be able to now pour out gold ingots and whatnot that way awesome and that does consume the the brick in the process but that's entirely fine uh, but I could in theory now just print ourselves a gold ingot <laughs> ingot I don't know blah, blah, blah. I can't words um, and I guess I may have to because this still has iron in it and not, I'm not particularly eager to just ditch a whole bunch of iron. I can throw the iron back in here, um, and I can use some of it to finish out this block, but the big thing is that I can use it to create some tools. So I guess, I, I suspect that using all iron is not going to be the most effective way of doing things, but uh, if we look at iron, uh, let's see, an iron pickaxe. Uh, oh, so you can make it with iron plates, uh, but can you also just make it when a different, let's see, iron, pick whoops axe head so you can do yeah so the iron pickaxe head uh oh it has magnetic too apparently um that's interesting oh and you can also make clay casts that's that's also interesting uh magnetic i think that means that it picks up materials around you um which is which i mean would be would be helpful uh let's go ahead and make one of those okay tool rods uh looks like this also has magnetic okay so probably you do want to use different materials uh oh dense that's also so all, oh, these things all seem to have sorts of Assorted features of, uh, who, who knows? There we go. And I should be able to fill up this uh, block as well, hopefully. And if I open up, yeah, that's that's cool. That'll take a little bit. Um, there we go. Uh, those things. And if we take those back now to our tool station, uh, we should be able to make a probably really terrible tool. Uh, but I think you can swap these out I, um, after you've created them. Um, I also do have some creeper protection in the form of totems sitting underneath here as well. Um, okay, so let's let's see if we can make this real quick. There we go. Um, a pickaxe, or the, the head, and there we go. An iron pickaxe, which we are clumsy with. Um, it has magnetic three. Its mining level is diamond. Speed is six. Attack is five. If we compare that to this, uh, mining speed is 6.5. So this will be, sl this right now as it is, would be slower. Um... In theory, though, if we were to compare that with the stone tools, which I didn't bring with me, or actually, rather, they are consumed uh, in the creation of those casts, I think. Um, either that or they've gone missing and I'm, I'm an idiot. Ah, okay, so, so yeah, it looks like you can use an awful lot of materials. You can use wood. Um, cool, so this would be ecological. I think ecological tools, I, th I forget what that ability means, but I think it, it has something to do with actually uh, doing some self-repair. Um, sure, let's let's make one because why the heck not? I suppose we could have then used those rather than just stone as well. Um, but so then we can, in theory, swap these things out, right? So this would give us mine speed six, modifiers three, but it now has ecological and magnetic three. Oh, yeah, there we go. Renewable resources are so good they regenerate by themselves. That's awesome. And what if we made a binding out of uh, stone? I don't know. We'll have to play around with these and figure out what's actually good. Uh, it's cheap, uh, but I don't know what cheap means, but who knows? Let's uh, throw it in and see see what the tooltip tells us. Uh, get rid of that and uh, put that there. Uh, this becomes cheap. Increases uh, Increased durability gained when repairing the tool. Okay, so that's also nice. Um, cool, okay. So this is, this is probably an absolutely terrible pickaxe, but we're going to build it anyway, just so that we have <laughs> uh, actually built a thing. So that's... That's pretty darn exciting. We're now crafting our own custom tools made out of assorted things. So I will probably spend a bunch of time creating our stencil sets and creating our, our golden casts as well uh, so that we have more flexibility. And uh, yeah, 
uh, we'll we'll move on from there. We'll see if we can craft ourselves a a, a a neat sword and maybe some iron armor. I don't know. We'll have to see if that's if that's an improvement over the black quartz. Um, and then uh, go off uh, hunting druids, I suppose. So I will see you in the next episode. Cheers.